All right, everyone, Tragic here to do the last six packs of Jumpstart out of my box. Uh, let's see what we get out of a mashup here. Let's see if we can get some value. So, first two packs to put together as a deck are going to be Goblins and Wizards. They kind of go hand in hand. There's a lot of Goblin Wizards I've seen over the years. Maybe a Gutter Snipe would be perfect for a deck like that. Um, I haven't looked too close at stuff like wizards if they have like a lot of different tribes that are kind of just baked into it. Let's see if that holds true now. For goblins we get a goblin chieftain so that is now the third, yep, goblin goon. This is the third pack of goblins that have gotten out of this one box. One went to a patron that is exactly the same. Let's scan it up anyway. Goblin chieftains a little bit. It is eh, a couple bucks, reprinted a bunch of times. That's a different version. I'm not going to do anything about that. So this particular pack seems to be exactly the same as the other goblin packs I got. Maybe there is only one goblin pack. I'm not sure. Thriving Bluff, almost my 90 cent minimum. The Goblin Mountain ends up being about the same, 87, and then some regular old mountains to go with it so then the wizards whoops what kind of wizards are in here I'm not sure oops oops there we go very cool art I think that's wizards retort we got a Baron Talarian Archmage from M21 for sure he's a legendary human wizard and is a whole 65 cents right now there we go got a merfolk wizard um, we could make some drakes. A wizard could do that. There's a wizard retort. Very perfect for this kind of deck. Wizards like to draw cards and then discard cards. They tap creatures. They do stuff that like Blue likes to do. Merfolk wizard again. Vedelkin wizard. They counter spells. Three merfolk wizards. Well, there you go. It's all. It's it definitely would go well with a merfolk jumpstart pack. Got a thriving isle. Ninety nine cents. You read the tides, you get a human wizard, and then you've got a wizard island. It is uh, doing some wizard stuff there. It's not a big demand one there. So, there we go. Alright, next two packs of Jumpstart. I do like the idea to mash up some uh, limited size decks. I guess you could do three. Would that unbalance it by having like three colors? I imagine so. But I'm sure it could be done. You could do it for fun, sure. Um, Legion versus Predatory. All right, let's see. Uh, again, out of this one box, my first box that I've opened, I think this is the third pack of Legion that I've gotten. Is it the same? No, it's actually different. Glorious Anthem. You control get one one. Uh, another card has been reprinted quite a few times, forty cents. And you got some soldiers and some ways to pump up your soldiers and make little one ones, whether they're dogs or soldiers or whatever. And put some more encounters. A unicorn could be part of the legion, sure. And it would go with a unicorn pack if you happen to get that. Dwarf soldier, human knight. Yep, destroy stuff that's bigger than your soldiers. Sure, you want to do all that. A thriving heath. Just 99 cents. You can make some more soldiers. And there's the Legion Plains. It is a little bit there. Alright, there we go. <laughs> Predatory, I've not seen this pack yet. Looks like it might be beasts or dinosaurs or something. Let's see. Nayeth of the Dire Hunt, a human warrior legendary. 3-3 three, three for 4. Whenever one or more creatures you control fight or become blocked, draw a card. Ah, it's all about fighting. At the beginning of combat on your turn, you may pay 2 and a red or a green. If you do double target creature's power until end of turn, that creature must be blocked this combat if able. So you can do some stuff with that. And then we got a Fungal Rebirth. Woo! Nayeth of the Dire Hunt is 24.50, so I imagine he's a brand new card from this set. Um, yep, sure enough. Uh, probably pretty good for commander. Um, I don't play enough to know right off the bat what you would use this for. Obviously for fighting other stuff, but there's... Let's put it right here. It's a big hit. So there we go. Uh, let's see. You can return a permanent card. You make some sapperlings. 
you can have your, your elk fight some stuff. This boar is going to die and make another boar. So yeah, we're all about fighting and dying and killing and smashing right on through. Yep, good old elks. Got a thriving grove. It's a buck. Time to feed, choose target creature. And then it dies, you gain three life. And then it fights a creature. Yep, there we go. It's all about fighting. Let's see, this is the predatory forest. You got these big plants that are about to eat this elk. And it's a 92 center. There we go. So there we go for that one. Last two packs. What did we get? Nice to see a big hit like Nayeth in here. <clears throat> Can we get another one? Or are we going to get a Legion and Goblin deck again? Let's see. We got plus one and above the clouds. So let's do the plus one. Looks like Hydras. And stuff that wants to add counters to other stuff. Rishkar, Pima, Renegade. Legendary Elf Druid for... It's a 2-2 two, two for 3. When Rishkar enters the battlefield, put a 1-1 counter on each of up to two target creatures. Each creature you control has a, with a counter has tap to add green. So, nice little ramper. It's a buck. And put a 1-1 counter on target creature that you control, then double the number of 1-1 counters. Sure. Wildwood Scourge, a Hydra with some counters. Draw a card for creatures with counters on it. Oh yeah, Horn Beetle doing stuff with counters. Truffle Snap, got a counter. Put a 1-1 counter. Pride Malkin enters with more counters. Yeah, there you go. So it's it's as advertised. This is all about one more counter. So I actually love the the counters mechanic. Works really well for me. Thriving Grove was about a buck. And here's the count plus one forest, basic land. You got some a lot of growth coming out of that. So fifty cents for that one. Not in high demand. And then some other nice basic forests. All right. Next up, above the clouds, it's all flyers, I believe. 1-1 one, one counters and flyers. It's got possibilities. They're all blue. Got a Kira. Great glass spinner. There we go. So that's a bit of a hit. Been reprinted a few times. It's a 2-2 two, two legendary spirit for three flying. Creatures you control have whenever this creature comes the target of a spell or ability for the first time each turn counter that spell or ability so this is a commander staple i believe kira great glass spinner is six bucks in jumpstart random revelation let's draw some cards a little crossover with the wizards um, pack uh yeah you can unsubstantiate someone's spell and then you got a drake that flies more drake human soldier can target creature can gain flying so you can give your one more counter creature some flying when Roman Ghostlight enters the battlefield, return up to one target non-spirit creature, sure. Until end of the turn, target creature gets plus zero, plus two, another one gets plus two. Ah, they should have done something to give something flying here. Yeah, okay, capture fear, get rid of creature that's bugging your flyers. Got a flying prowess mistral singer, that's kind of nice, wall of runes. You would think the wall of runes could, uh, could block creatures with flying. Or maybe I don't know what I'm talking about, as usual, thriving isle. Lofty Denial from uh, M21, little counter. So here's the Flying Island. Um, is that special for this set? I guess it is a Flying Island, right? So it's floating up there, very much like a Zendikar Island. So that's it. All right, that's it for my packs of Jumpstart. And I uh, got a couple nice hits. So thanks for watching. Uh, check out my other videos. Like and subscribe. Chagic MTG. See ya.